Hello, happy Monday night. I just wanted to answer a question from one of my followers on Instagram. She asked me what is Amazon FBA and what do you need to do to do Amazon FBA and how does Amazon FBA work? So Amazon FBA is fulfilled by Amazon. So basically uh, what it is, and I drew a little diagram. And so basically you're a seller that can open an account with Amazon and go online and fill out the information, all the tax information, your name, your address, and all of that. And you have choices between two different accounts. You could do a personal seller account, or you could do a professional seller account on Amazon's website. So the difference between the two sites is one is the personal seller is somebody who's not yet committed to do Amazon fully, and they just wanna just try to sell a few items and that would be that you would only pay Amazon 99 cents for each item that sells and also maybe a variable cost depending on what category you sell. So that would be for just the personal account. And then there's Amazon, which is the professional account. So Amazon professional account, you would pay 39.99 plus a variable fee for each item that sells per category and so instead of paying say you sell more than 40 items that month instead of paying like $50 and you sell 50 items you would just pay the $30.99 and whatever little fees that is also connected to the monthly to the each item that you sell so that is why we highly recommend that you do the professional selling account because the goal is to sell more than you know the 40 items a month which is very easy to do on Amazon. So the difference between Poshmark and say something like Amazon FBA, because a lot of you followers of mine are Poshmark sellers, is that Poshmark would be that you list the item, like maybe a dress that you bought at the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, your personal closet, and then when customer gives you an offer, you can sell it and then you would ship the item with the label that you print out and then you send it to the customer itself. And then Amazon, the difference with Amazon is you could do Amazon fulfilled by Amazon the FBA program. So you would basically do this. So you're this seller, right? That's, that's you, the seller. And then you're going to find the product to sell. So this product could be anything. It could be pens, it could be slippers. It, it's not always gonna be clothes. Like it could be candies. Like I sell a lot of grocery items and you sell those products and you would pick the products that is the most, is the rank is good and um, that a lot of sales are being made every month. So it's a little bit different and a little bit more of a complicated process than Poshmark where you just can go to the thrift store and just grab a bunch of shoes and dresses and and in one hour you could have at least like 40 50 items in like less than an hour whereas like with amazon you have to look and scan and check to see is this item a hot selling item is there not a lot of sellers on the item is this item being a competition between Amazon so there's a little bit more analysis when you pick your product and then there's also another caveat to that you could do something like called wholesaling where you would go to a site called Alibaba or Aliexpress and instead of getting individual products you would buy like 300 to 500 say slippers and then you would ask them to send it to the Amazon warehouse and the Amazon would ship the items and do all the customer service work for you as somebody who's doing a wholesale account. But let's just do the items that most people do for like smaller um, new sellers, which is more like, you know, where you're going to Walmart, Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and you're just going to store and buying like say 10 profitable pens and you're gonna sell it to customers, okay? so. That's one big difference between Poshmark and Amazon is that it's easier for you to just go to the thrift store, grab 10 shoes, 10 dresses, and 10 bags. Whereas with Amazon, you're going to see, is this profitable? Is there a lot of sellers on it? Is Amazon selling it? So it's a little bit more tedious in terms of finding out if this is going to be a good item for you to sell.
And then instead of us getting the product and shipping it to the customer, we're gonna get a big box of items, all the different items in a box, and it's gonna be shipped to Amazon, Amazon's warehouse, that's the Amazon's warehouse. And we're going to be shipping those items, maybe a big box, and there's like maybe 20 pans, 10 slippers, 50 candies or whatever, whatever you fit in the box. And then that box would be shipped to the warehouse and it sits in the warehouse. And then when a customer goes to Amazon and checks that they want to um, get some candies or slippers or pens, then they, they just purchase the item on Amazon's website and all of our pens, our slippers and all of that could just be sold off to the customer. And they handle the customer service they handle the returns, they handle the shipping of our products to the customers. Whereas with Poshmark, with eBay and Macari, we ship the customer's item to the customer. If they have a complaint, if they ask for measurements, if they do that, we have to do all that legwork. So that's the biggest difference. Another thing about Amazon is you could either do fulfill by Amazon, where Amazon actually does all of the fulfillment and shipping all the items to the customer, or you could do something called merchant fulfill. So that would be basically you're the seller, you have a bunch of products, and then when somebody buys the item on Amazon's website, you will send the product directly to the customer. And so everybody's probably wondering, well, why would I want to send all this item to the customer if I could just do that on Poshmark or eBay? And the reason why you would maybe want to do something with Amazon versus maybe Poshmark or eBay is because the site is way bigger, like multi millions of people all over the world are shopping on Amazon. It's just a bigger pool than like a little jacuzzi of Posh and eBay and Macari. It's just huge. And that's why Jeff Bezos was like one of the top 10 richest men in the world because you know he uh, has huge sales um, customers customer service support all of that and that's why a lot of people are interested in selling on Amazon and there's something about scalability so my personal example is there was a customer there, there's a person that sold 200,000 items dollars worth of items in one month can you imagine if you're a Poshmark seller and you sold $200,000 of items in one month? The manpower, the customer service, the shipping, the postage, the stamps, all of that. It would be a lot. So that's why scalability on Amazon is long term and it's something that you could do. And that's the difference between Amazon, the scalability, millions of like, customers and warehouses all over nation all over the world that you know we can ship the items to amazon's warehouse and send it out so why is it that some people are just like i'm scared of amazon and i just want to do poshmark and some people are like i only want to do amazon screw poshmark it's because for some people it's about the scalability factor the fact that you could have thousands of sales in one day and nobody and you do not have to do the customer service you do not have to ship the items you do not have to handle returns and that is amazing because if you're in bermuda for a week you could literally have your whole inventory sell and you don't do nothing um some reasons why poshers are not interested in amazon is because it's not that easy to find profitable products that aren't going to tank that not a lot of other sellers are selling. Whereas like with Poshmark, it might be easier. For instance, I have this Richard Allen dress and um, I saw online, there's probably like three or four sellers that are selling this Richard Allen dress on Poshmark and it's a blogger's favorite. It's where, and it was very easy for me to just go to the store and buy it. Whereas with Amazon, there might be like 20 sellers that are selling this slipper because they all scanned that Marshall's clearance section and they all saw it and they're all realizing like, wow, there's like 20 other sellers and we were gonna initially sell this for $19.99 and now we're gonna, everybody else is scared so they're gonna sell it for $10.99 and the $8.99 and $5.99 and that everybody's just tanking with that hole and it's just not fun. It's not fun to like put thousands of dollars of inventory into Amazon's warehouse only for all the prices to completely drop. 
So that's why you have to look at information and uh, analysis and um, look at the history of the sales and all of that through a product called Keepa or Scoutify or through um, Jungle Scout and, and uh, analyze all that. Well, with Poshmark, you don't have to do so much analysis. You could just wait for like two or three sellers that sell the same dress to sell out and then you could sell it for like triple the amount. Like I paid $15, whereas like, if somebody, if five other sellers are selling this for $20, I could wait till the other five other sellers sell it and then I could still have this being sold for $50. So I hope this is easy for you to understand um, what Amazon FBA is, what Merchant Fulfill is, and why poshers might not want to do Amazon and why Amazoners might not want to do posh and um, where there's a benefit and where there's a disadvantage on both sides and just to make a wise choice. So for me personally, I normally just do Amazon during the holiday seasons because the holiday seasons, things are so fast, everything's selling, but during the holiday seasons, eBay and Poshmark, it's a lot slower, like used clothes, thrifted clothes, new clothes, it's not selling as fast as say like candies or Christmas decorations during the holiday season. So you could do even what I do, which is like pick and choose when I want to sell on each platform and what would be more beneficial for my time and for my finances during the, the seasons that those items are selling faster and they're more hot. So um, that's about it. Uh, I hope you could like and subscribe. Share this with somebody who's interested in selling on Amazon or Poshmark. And just to know your information before you do this. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that are selling courses like $1,000. If you buy my course, then you're going to be a, make $30,000 a month. I mean, that is all okay to invest in, but you have to have maybe a few thousand dollars just to buy all the inventory to implement those classes and courses, right? So I really highly suggest that before you invest in these really huge courses is just to watch a lot of different YouTube videos and have money saved up for inventory, then maybe invest in those courses. Or if you're like me, um, you know, you could also just do it on your own. So you should also consider that. And then you should also consider that it's kind of a learning curve. It's not the most easiest platform to work through. And, you know, sometimes you're afraid. A lot of people are scared of Amazon because uh, you can get a false claim or you could get a lot of returns. And um, once your store is closed, it's really hard to get your store open. Whereas with Poshmark, if you have a claim or if eBay, somebody says that they don't like an item, it's, it's not that your store would be closed. It might just get like, a warning or something like that. So I hope this helps you. Please um, comment below if you have any other questions about Amazon FBA, Merchant Fulfilled, Poshmark. And if you want to find me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Bunch of Styles. I have a Christian reselling group. It's called Bunch of Styles Christian Reselling Group on Facebook. And I'm also on TikTok and a bunch of other sites. So thank you so much for staying um, and spending your Monday night. I'm going to keep trying to post videos on Monday nights just so that you have more insights about reselling and how to help you to sell items. Thank you. Bye.